We just woke up. And we're going back to Brittle Hollow. Because I do believe this is the episode where we make it to the Southern Observatory. I know I still have things that need exploring in the Hanging City. But I'm too excited. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. I see this, I see that. I want to eat it all. And you can't stop me. So, we should either go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge or the Gravity Cannon. Apparently, there's a path from there to the Southern Observatory. I do believe we used the Tower of Quantum Knowledge last time, so let's just do that. It may even be this one right here. It's hard to tell from here. No, that looks like the escape pod. Yes, that is the escape pod. So let's go this way. That's the gravity cannon. I guess we could take the route from there, but let's not. Also, let me go into the landing cam. It's a little bit easier. So is this the old settlement? I think it may be. That's also where... Rybake was camping for a while. Okay, I want to try something. See the rock? <laughs> Look at the trees. The, the configuration of the trees. Do they change? We have two there, two there. Three there. Completely different. Completely different. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. And here's the plan also. I'm going to put this here. Because at some point, this will fall down into the black hole. And when it does, I'm going to use that part of this loop to explore the rest of this Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Because there is a there is a brown board that I have not explored fully yet. I do remember that. I couldn't find the projection stone for it. So I'm going to have to look a little more for it. Okay. I do believe I have the whole route planned out now in my head for what we need to do to get to the Southern Observatory. We have to move quick, but also be cautious as a person on Ember Twin told us once. Oof. Not like that. Forget it, that just happened. We jump here. On what is this, by the way? Maybe nothing. Jump. See, now both are here. Let me take the left, just because the right one went earlier last time, which scared me. We go up. Quick, quick, quick. This way. And we just have to keep going south, so this way. South is the name of the game. And before we know it, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. And we're there. So dark here. We are on a mission. It's going smooth so far. Gotta watch my fuel also. There we go. And now we go this way. Close. Now we go this way. We go up here. And this is where I fucked up last time. So I don't go back down here. That's a bad idea. I go up here. Over there. Okay. I've got this. I believe in myself. We go up here now. Also something up there. Okay. What do we got here? Please don't fall. Whew. There we go. Amazing. I came from there. Okay. <sighs> yes! I made it! I finally made it to the Southern Observatory. This is where they wanted to build a better eye signal locator. Love the music. 
Yoink. Is this... It is. That's the door Rybake couldn't get through. Rybake, I did it! I'm gonna tell you all about it when I meet you again. Oh, yes. And we're, and we're also in good time. Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Is this just, is this just going to be from the pff, construction yard, I wonder? It is. So, these places are linked. The Nomai could see the other places. Perhaps they could even talk to each other using this projection pool. Giant's Deep Projection... Let, let's see what's in here. Oh, we, we saw this already, but let me read it again. Konoi, Das, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts. But we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? Apparently they constructed something here to tell us how that could happen. My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giants Deep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm so excited. Konoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I just did that trailhead. Surface integrity 63%. That's... So that means the Tower of Quantum Knowledge will soon fall. Oh, yes. Is this a... Is it a golden pool? I hope it is. I love those. Yeah! Oh. <gasps> Tornadoes. Is this the model? Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giants Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. You mean the big one and the small ones? Most cyclones Cyclones on Giants Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. Man, that's smart, actually. Use the cyclones to lift things out of the well. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Of course! That makes sense. My gratitude, Spire. I mean, I don't know if it makes sense from a scientific standpoint, but... It makes sense in this game. Kunoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? <laughs> the model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giants Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> Got it. Can I go into these? Whoa! Okay, and the other one's gonna push me down then. Was that it? Ah! Yep, confirmed. 46% surface integrity. So I guess we just jump into a counter-rotating cyclone. On Giant's Deep, and that's how we're going to get pushed down beneath the current. I'm kind of sad I didn't figure that out on my own. Well, I, just, I guess I did by coming here, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. Ah, uh, The Hourglass Twins. Two rocks. And a stick. What happens now? Is this just a model of... Of the sun and the twins? That's Ash Twin. That's Ember Twin. Wait. Oh! 
Timber Hearth. Okay. This is Brittle Hollow. Third planet from the sun. We've got Giants Deep. Fourth planet from the sun. Man, huge too. Makes sense though. Has like 2x gravity. And then we've got this bastard. Dark Bramble. Man, Dark Bramble is huge actually. Looks so messed up. The Eye of the Universe. I'm kind of scared to move this now. can't find it or it can't model it so according to this place the eye of the universe is in some in some random orbit very far out with a random orientation this reminds me of the of the uh, the orbital probe cannon that launched a probe randomly I think this is connected. It has to be. Maybe they were trying to... And this is going to sound silly, but... Maybe they somehow ended up... I'm going to wait reading this. I want to see if I'm right here before... If, if this even is an answer. Um, what was I thinking? If they somehow determined or found, found out... That the eye of the universe... I just had a great idea. Okay, here we go. Maybe they somehow determined that the eye of the universe is not a single place. Because this view right here reminds me a bit of the atom in the center with the nucleus and the electron in the orbit around it. Because the electron is not actually a particle that is that has a well-defined position. We, we say it's an electron cloud because it exists in all these different states. And don't... I'm not a quantum guy. I don't know. I mean, I do ha did have quantum courses, but it's been ages ago. So don't quote me on this. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But we consider the, the orbits of the electron not as orbits, but as sort of an electron cloud is what we're saying. So they are trying to find this. They're going to go down to the same level. Uh... Of this reasoning, so to speak. Oh, I can't formulate myself. Uh, so they're sending a probe in a random direction. Because the eye of the universe is random. So maybe they're trying to meet the eye of the universe on the same level, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? Maybe they have to take this leap of faith that doesn't make any sense. But maybe things don't have to make sense. The universe is not here for the benefit of us, right? Quantum mechanics flies in the face of logic. And we know that's real. So the eye of the universe is everywhere at once. Or something. And to find it, maybe you have to observe it. Maybe it's all tied to the principles of this whole quantum deal. It exists in all possible positions and states right now. Until it is observed. At which point we can explore it. Fucking cool. 13% surface integrity. Let's, let's, let's hurry up here. Error. Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Okay. Oh no, we've got more reading. But we have the thing turned on that pauses it, so we're good. Konoi, what have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the Eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the Eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Wait. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, 
we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. Is that the sixth location then? Is the eye of the universe the sixth location? The quantum moon jumps between the five planets in our solar system, but sometimes it arrives at a sixth location. So to find the eye of the universe, we have to go to the quantum moon when it is um, when it's at the eye of the universe. Assuming the eye of the, eye of the universe is a planet. Hmm. Plume. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. So let me guess, they went to Emperor Twin and to build the Quantum Moon locator. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. That's a kind of a scary thought. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story. Yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. So is the eye of the universe a question that's been on every Nomai clan's mind? But this clan decided to do something about it and actually go find it. Is that what's happening? Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Definitely not. I saw more over here. God, this place is so cool, huh? Konoi says, how should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? Mallow. We know what the eye looks like, thanks to the quantum moon. Wait, really? We know what the eye looks like, thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small, agreed. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pai about the technology they're developing? We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around the celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Smart. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Isn't Dark Bramble furthest from the sun? But maybe it's not such a great place to orbit for reasons. Hmm. Oh. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Yes, let's build a cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Okay. So wait a minute. Um... Yeah, I think this confirms my theory so far. It doesn't uh, it doesn't break my theory, at least. The status quo is still here with that theory, which is that the eye of the universe, you can't find it by these means. You need to observe it visually to make it stay in one place because it is behaving exactly as the quantum moon. It's moving away whenever you don't observe it. It seems like the quantum phenomena is, is the whole basis for this game is yeah let me take a sip of coffee i'm losing my voice a little bit now that's better okay surface integrity seven percent we have a way out it is time whoa almost flew through the eye of the universe <laughs> it's time to go back to the tower of quantum knowledge because that is about to fall through the black hole you know what i'm gonna do something cool 
I'm gonna fall into the black hole and wait for the tower to arrive. Where is it? There. Boom. So cool. 7%. Now I wonder if there are any other places here that we should explore while we're in zero G. Just like the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Here comes another piece. There's so many pieces here. Also, I... Yeah, I was... We are moving towards it. We had some momentum falling through the black hole. That we still have here. It's so quiet here. Imagine being in this place in real life. Imagine this game in VR. Holy shit. Quantum moon. Wait, I have, a, I have an idea. Uh, wait. <gasps> That's it. I'm such a dumbass. I kept trying to launch probes into it to take pictures, but I could have just taken a picture. Right? Is this how I get to the quantum moon? Okay, it's confirmed. Next loop, we're going to the quantum moon. Look, it's still there. I mean, in the picture I see it, right? It's in front of the sun. Also, the tower has arrived. Where is it? Ooh, there's the comet. And now it's gone, I think. Um, where is the tower? That is the station. Is it on the other side here? Wait, maybe it's not here. I pulled out my scout launcher and... I think I retrieved the probe, which made me think that the surface integrity reached 0%. I don't think it's actually here yet. Is that it? Come on now. I know you want to fall. I know you want to go through. God, this whole warping effect is really cool, huh? Oh, and an another thing I can mention right here is while I was uploading uh, some of the, the earlier the earlier episode... Oof, almost got hit by that piece of rock. Um, I was looking at the very first episode again. Because I had a theory that regarding with the statues. Regarding the statues, that when we first paired with the statue in the museum, that the blue streaks of light would go into the screen. Because it would store the memory in the statue. Every time we die, the streaks come out of the screen. Into me. As if... Hey, your memories were stored. Now you have them again. Because you were reborn or sent back in time. And I was right. The lines did indeed go into the screen. So how about that? Now, am I missing this tower here? Is it actually here? There's Dark Bramble right there. Three minutes oxygen. Oh, come on. Come on. I should not have jumped yet. Whoa. I wonder if I can die. What's that sound? Oh, it's just the sound of the white hole. Creepy. What's that? It's so dark right here.
Something else just came out, I think. What is this? Oh no, I may die. Okay, I cannot use fuel. Is that it? That is it. Here we go. Please tell me there are trees in there. Okay, don't waste too much fuel now. Keep calm. Let's go to the left. Yes! Okay. We go down. Here we go. I'm trying to see if I can see a projection stone down there. I can't. So let's take it one level at a time here. Oh god. Whoop. Go like this. Uh, no more fuel. Oh shit, 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 shit. We're using oxygen as repellent. Propellant. Uh, that's bad. But if we have trees, it's actually okay. Let's not use that. Let's walk. Yes, trees. We read that. Did we read this? I think we did. Yeah, I remember grabbing that stone. Ah, oh, shit, time is running out again. I have to bring a... God damn it. Where are you hiding? Not there. I need a projection stone. So I think I'm getting it all. It's all coming together. The quantum moon. But just keep looking away. It should, by chance, at some point, arrive at the eye of the universe. I'm so sorry but for flying around upside down and stuff. I bet you're feeling a bit like uh, that miner in the Zero-G cave right now when I was telling him that I would be going upside down, just flying around, doing this and that. I bet he would not appreciate the view from our helmet right now. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the projection stone is. I believe I have to get it from somewhere else. Not this tower, it seems. Is it hiding somewhere crazy, like underneath, or... Probably not. Where's the sun? There. Okay. Let's do this. I'm ready to die once again. What a fantastic game. What an absolute game. I believe this is it for this episode. I'll continue in the next, of course. Um, and I hope to see you then.